My name is Heipi van Wijk. Where I am now is running a center for children with severe disabilities, whether it is autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy. And we run the center in the community where the access for medical care, for therapies, for schools is very, very limited. Um, and this center takes care not only of the child, not preparing only the child for life, but also the parents um, and the challenges that they might face. So our job is to make sure the environment is safe, they feel loved, they have food to eat, they have a roof over their heads, they get the medical um, attention they need, they go to the therapist that they're supposed to go to. Um, what I like to normally tell people is if you create a good environment by starting with the parents, working with the parents, um, training them on how to work with their children, you automatically create a better environment for the child. Very easy people would classify these children as not being normal. In our lifestyle, we would say that what is normal? Do you compare normal to the standards of life or do you compare normal to what you are surviving with, what you are living with? In this process, I met um, the woman in 2015. I met Sandra and Sandra started side by side in 2013 already, which was very small at that stage, helping about 12 children and um, so these children all have different diagnoses. Um, it could be autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, developmental delay, um, so alcohol syndrome, depending on, on the child's case. And uh, so I started working with her and I learned a lot from her. And then I started training with her and took up Side by Side over in 2018. Um, so because Side by Side is an early intervention centre, this is the one thing that I'm really focusing on. Every country needs a specific um, format set in place for children with special needs. So you have early detection, which means that a child needs to be diagnosed as early as possible and we need the right amount of doctors and therapists to diagnose this child, if can, at birth or shortly after birth. So support systems are very very important for us. Um, we as staff members are also there for our parents 24-7. Um, yeah, we're there to help them and support them. Then we also have um, the community trainings which we train the parents, um, the caregivers, professionals, teachers. Um, we train them how to work with children with disabilities. If a diagnosis is made or early detection is made, then we go on to early intervention, which is where side by side comes in. So between the ages of zero and I would push it to nine, if a child was diagnosed with, with autism, with Down syndrome, with alcohol syndrome, with developmental delay, ADHD, um, then we, we would interview the parents and see what the severity of the child's diagnosis is, what the possible prognosis can be, and how we can help this child to achieve the certain milestones. So in the first nine years of a child's life, they have specific milestones they need to achieve to be considered um, in the normal spectrum of society. So then we evaluate the children and we see if a child needs speech therapy, if a child maybe have difficulty to walk. So you see the community, they do want to help, but they don't know how to approach. So we're here to help them, to teach them. Um, it's okay to go up and ask if you can assist with something. Um, teach them the ways how to, how to talk to people with disabilities, how to talk about people with disabilities, how to respect them because um, they're just like, like anyone else, you know, they have the same rights, they have the same feelings, they have the same um, cognitive abilities. Parents won't, won't really notice it, especially in, I would say, the first six months of a child's life. You don't really notice it because the milestones are very um, unique that these children may reach. So only when, when the child should be able to sit, which is around six, seven months, um, and they don't sit yet, then you start worrying because you compare your children to other and you start seeing, oh, why is my child not sitting yet? Um, so then only will they go to the doctor and say, listen, I'm worried. But when a child is born premature or is born during a difficult birth process or there was a delay at birth or the mother was ill, then usually the, the early detection process would begin with the doctors and they would suspect it even before the parent would suspect anything. Um, we're trying to teach the people um, what causes the disability because we don't want them to hide. We don't want them to think it's, um, you know, witchcraft or 
ancestors or you know stuff like that because um, it's not you know um, it's it's a medical condition and we don't want them to hide so that's one of the things um, that's very very close to side by side's heart is we try to let them know they're not alone they don't need to hide there's people that can love them there's people that can help them and that's why I'm here and there you have to understand the milestones of each child so at birth in Namibia you you get these um, specific books and in the booklets they would say at between zero and three months a child should be able to between three months and six months a child should be able to so there you can go yourself and see what should my child be able to do and if not then I would start worrying um, at this stage we are supporting 130 children now just to give you an idea last year January when we really started um, we were supporting 24 children the big dream for side by side is to have early intervention and early detection services all around Namibia.